Hey everybody, Fabio here once again, and tonight I'm here with a vlog slash DVD update. I'm going to do a little vlog, talk about, uh, you know, a couple things that I got planned coming up, and then I'm going to do a pretty big DVD update, and this will probably be the last batch of DVDs that I do get for a while, because, um, you know, like I've been saying in these videos, you know, I just got a job, so, I, you know, I took my first couple paychecks and went out and celebrated, so I'm going to be saving up as much money as I can. Because, you know, I really want to get into martial arts and stuff like that, you know, because that's something I've wanted to do for a very long time, so now's the time to do it. And, uh, like, and I'm going to talk about also a couple things I got coming up. But first of all, I do want to apologize, because I know last night when I did my reviews of Mercenary for Justice and Urban Justice and Pistol Whip and Driven to Kill, I, you know, like I said, last night was, you know, a bad night or a bad day, you know, from, from working and stuff like that. And I came home and went out with my friends and had a good time and stuff like that. But, you know, when I came home and tried to sit down and do the reviews, you know, I was screwing around on the computer a little bit. And, you know, I had some bullshit on there, you know, on Facebook, you know, just stupid shit. But, you know, it shit like that gets to me. I don't know why. But anyway, so it was distracting, you know, from my, you know, reviews and stuff like that. Just stupid girl shit, but it's over now, so... So I do apologize about that, you know, I know those reviews are kind of lackluster, and but I did say, you know, those were really, you know, Seagal movies that I didn't want to talk about, you know, a lot if you haven't seen them, you know, I didn't want to spoil anything. But regardless, you know, I still should have put, you know, 110% into it, you know, so I do apologize for that. But, um, like I said, I wasn't sure what I was going to do next, so, um, I've been looking through my DVDs and stuff like that, and I was talking, my cousins came down today, so I was talking to my one cousin for a little bit. He's like, well, are you done with your Schwarzenegger stuff? I'm like, well, I just finished up Seagal. So I think what I am going to do is do my Arnold Schwarzenegger movies next because I have, you know, everything that I want except one movie, which I don't have on DVD. I do have it on VHS, but I'm not going to, you know, reveal that movie uh, yet. You know, I will reveal that when I do my review. So I do have all the Schwarzenegger movies that I, I am going to review. So that's what I'll do next. I'll do those and knock those out. And then I think I am going to do... My Dolph Lundgren movies. Now, I don't have many. I only have uh, Army of One and The Peacekeeper on VHS. And then I also just got the triple feature of Hidden Assassin, uh, Men of War, and Blackjack. And I also have The Punisher. I'm looking at him right now. Red Scorpion, The Russian Specialist, and Missionary Man. As, you know, like his solo projects. You know, I do have The Expendables, which he was in. I have Universal Soldier, which he was in. And I have Rocky IV. But those movies I'll do, you know, Rocky IV and Expendables when I do Stallone. And then, you know, uh, Universal Soldier when I do Van Damme. And I, I would like to do those soon. There's only one Van Damme movie that I need to get on DVD. I'd have nowhere to run, but that's on VHS, so I can still review that. And then I need a couple of uh, Stallone movies. I did go out and get one today, which I will talk about in my when I do my DVD update here in a minute. So I would like to do all those movies first, you know, like the big action stars, like, you know, I just did Seagal, so I want to do Schwarzenegger and Stallone and Van Damme and Chuck Norris, you know, those kind of guys, and then move on from there. And, well, I'm looking at my Bruce Lee stuff now, so, <laughs> so yeah, so what I'm going to do next, um, I'm going to do Schwarzenegger, and then I'm going to do Dolph Lundgren, and then I'm going to go and do Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee, so that's um, the update, that's my, what what's going to be coming up. And probably the next couple of weeks, it'll probably take me probably at least two weeks to do all that stuff. You know, um, tomorrow I ain't going to get nothing done because I got to work all day. And then Sunday is Easter, but I also have to work. So next, so Monday, um, I'll probably start, I'll, yeah, I'll definitely start Monday on my Schwarzenegger collection. So we'll do that and then go from, from there. So that's it for the vlog, I think in a couple minute vlog, talking about some of the, you know, upcoming stuff that I got planned. So that takes care of that. So now I want to talk about the DVD update that I got planned. Now I know last week, yeah, earlier, earlier this week I did do a DVD update, but then I went out the next day and bought more DVDs, and then I bought DVDs today. So I'm like, well, I should have held on, but that's okay because I got a nice stack sitting here. So um, so I want to you know do this. You know I should have waited, but that's not a problem. You know I got you know this one and the vlog, so that'll be okay. But um. This first DVD that I got is a Vin Diesel movie, and it is a Disney movie, so you probably already know what I'm talking about, but I do enjoy The Pacifier quite a bit. You know, I like Vin Diesel, I'm a big fan of his stuff, and I really like The Pacifier, you know, I like, you know, the, 
that he, you know, tries to do a different style and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't bother me that it's a kid movie. You know, I do like that, you know, he's moving moved away from his image for at least one movie. You know, I think it'd be cool if he did more of these movies. Um, but that's okay. You know, I do enjoy this movie quite a bit. And I was really glad that I found it on DVD. I found it for five bucks, so that wasn't bad, you know, used. I'll pay that, so that's not a big deal. So that's The Pacifier. And this next DVD is a triple feature. And it's, um... A couple of Ernest movies, um, it's Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, and Ernest Goes to Jail. Now, I'm a big fan of Jim Varney, you know, I really like him, and, you know, it's sad that he had passed away, but, you know, that's just life. And I do enjoy the Ernest movies. Yeah, I know they're stupid, and they're corny, and they're childish, but that's why I like them, you know. And Ernest Scared Stupid, I think, is my favorite, and it's definitely the best one. And then Ernest Goes to Camp, I've never seen so I am looking forward to watching that, and Ernest Goes to Jail, I have seen it. I thought that was a pretty cool flick. So, yeah, so now I'm, I'm trying to get the Ernest movies and stuff like that. And like I said, I am a fan of Jim Varney. I did like him in Three Ninjas, High Noon at Mega Mountain. I will review all those movies. I, well, maybe soon. We'll see what happens. And then I liked him in the Jeff Speakman movie, The Expert. Now, I know he had a you know a cameo appearance, but I really enjoyed that movie, and I really enjoyed you know that you know one scene with him in there. So that's that DVD. Next up is a Stallone movie. You know, I, I just said that when I was talking about, you know, I only needed a few Stallone movies on DVD. I, my cousin, like I said, they came down earlier, and we went up to FYE. We have a FYE here in town. And he's like, oh, they got Daylight. So I got Daylight on DVD, a movie I've been looking for for a little bit. Now, this is the reissue cover. I personally don't like it. I like the original, but I'm not going to complain because, you know, I got the movie on DVD. I was really happy. And Daylight's really cool. I really think it's a, um underrated Stallone effort. You know, I really... I watched it on TV, actually. You know, first... I haven't... I've seen it recently for the first time. And I watched it on TV, and I thought it was pretty good. You know, I really enjoyed it. I do have it on VHS, so now I can get rid of the VHS tape. But, uh, yeah. So, if you if you haven't seen Daylight, check it out. You might enjoy it. And I will definitely review that when I get to, my, you know, my Stallone collection. So, that's Daylight. Next up is a science fiction film that came out in the 80s. It's definitely a cult classic and an 80s classic. And my cousin recently just got this on Blu-ray, and he was very excited about it. And we also stopped at Walmart today, so I got a bunch of DVDs for 5 bucks. And I saw The Last Starfighter, the 25th anniversary edition. And it has been a good while since I've seen this. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this. Um, you know, the plot, you know, is the easy, you know, the kid gets sucked, gets recruited by the video game, you know, to fight the intergalactic war. So I, I think I have seen this, but it's been, I think it's been a long time. So I am looking forward to sitting down and watching this again. And when I do eventually review it, you know, I'll bring up if, if I remember seeing it or not. But I'm pretty sure I have seen this, so I will have to double check on that. So that's The Last Starfighter. Next up is a Bill Murray movie, which I do have on VHS, and I'm really glad that I found it on DVD, uh, Groundhog Day. And this is the special 15th anniversary edition. And this was 5 bucks at Walmart. So I was like, oh, cool. So I'll pick that up and I can get rid of the VHS. And I love Bill Murray. And this is definitely one of his best movies. Um, I did try to sit down and watch it, you know, my VHS the other night. But I just couldn't sit down and watch it for some reason. But it's not a bad, you know, I just wasn't in the mood, I guess. But, you know, it's not a bad movie. It's a pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You might like it. So, you know, I got that. So I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching this once again. So that's Groundhog Day. And the next two, well, yeah, the next two DVDs are Batman DVDs. And this one I've seen at, like, Toys R Us, you know, at, basically at Toys R Us. I've seen this at Toys R Us's everywhere. And they, it was, like, 10 bucks, but I didn't pick it up, you know, for whatever reason. But I actually was at, you know, once again, I got it at Walmart for 5 bucks. And it's uh, Batman and Robin, the uh, 1949 movie serial collection. And I'm a huge comic book fan. I'm a huge Batman fan. So I am actually looking forward to sitting down and watching this. Now, I have to get the other one. It's just called the Batman Serial Collection, but that's from 1943. So, I, yeah, I actually am looking forward to checking this out. And this is where Vicki Vale comes from that we see in the first movie played by Kim Basinger. So, yeah, I am you know, definitely looking forward to checking this out. So that's that. And this next Batman DVD is Batman Begins. And this is the two-disc deluxe edition that has the comic book. I know you can't see it, but... The comic book is right in there. And I was at FYE, like I said, and they had this and, you know, the special edition, which all it is, 
The only difference is the comic book, and they were the same price. I'm like, well, I'll get this one because it has the comic book. So they were both $7.99, but I got this, like I said, because it has the comic book. So that's cool. So that's Batman Begins. Uh, this next DVD is a sequel, and I really enjoyed this. I know it definitely has mixed views on it, and, you know, I, I rented it a long time ago. And I watched it on TV a long time ago, and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a solid flick. And then, like, I just kind of lost interest in it. Like, But then I rented it recently to watch it again, and I'm like, well, this isn't a bad flick. You know, I enjoyed it and stuff like that, and I really enjoyed the first film. So I picked this up. It was, like, five bucks, or it was, like, eight bucks at uh, FYAUs. I got it the other day after work. I ran over there, and I got uh, RoboCop 2. So I enjoy RoboCop 2. I think it's a pretty good sequel. It's the only RoboCop sequel worth seeing. You know, like I said, it did criti get criticized quite a bit, but I enjoyed it. I don't think it's a bad flick, so that's that. And this next DVD is like a crime film, yeah, like a gang movie from uh, the early 2000s. And I had heard about it, I'd seen, you know, ads and stuff on TV, and I'd seen it on cable, but I never watched it. So I rented it, and I was really surprised of how good this movie is. And, you know, not many people talk about it, I think it's really underrated. And I'm talking about Deuces Wild, which has Steven Dorff, uh, Brad Renfro... Uh, Drea De DeMetto from The Sopranos, Frankie Muniz is in it, um, Norman Reedus from The Boondock Saints, uh, and Matt Dillon's in it, and uh, Vincent Pastore, who, who plays Big Pussy on The Sopranos, and he's in it as well. And it's a really underrated gang movie, it takes place in the 50s and stuff like that, and I will definitely review this, but you know, it definitely has like that Goodfellas and that A Bronx Tale, you know, vibe in it, so you know, if you like those movies and you haven't seen it, check it out, you know, rent it, or catch it on cable or something, because you might enjoy it, you know, it's a pretty, you know, cool flick, so I enjoyed it, you know, you might too, so that's Deuce as well, and this next DVD is a Matt Damon movie, now I like Matt Damon, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, whatever, but, you know, I really enjoyed this movie, you know, I, I had heard about it over the years, and actually, I was, a long time ago, I was hanging out with my best friend, and his grandfather rented it, he's like, oh, it's a really good movie, you guys should watch it, and stuff like that, but we never got around to watching it, so I was, I, th I rented it, uh, and it was a really good flick, I was really surprised, and I think it's underrated, because I don't really hear people talk about it and stuff like that, and I'm talking about Rounders, which also stars Edward Norton, and this is the, um, the, spe the collector's edition, and, you know, it's got some, looks like it's got some pretty cool special features on it, so, like I said, it's a pretty good movie, it's got a, a lot of recognizable cast members in it, um, John Totoro's in it, um, uh, I can't pronounce her name, but she played Jean Grey in X-Men. I can't really pronounce this name, her name. I'm sorry about that. And John Malkovich and Martin Landau are in it. So there's some pretty, you know, recognizable, you know, good, really good actors in this movie. So if you haven't checked, seen Rounders, check it out. If you, you know, if you're into that kind of movie, you know, you might like that. And that was, this was $4.95 at this antique store that I go to that sells DVDs as well. So that was a good buy for that. And I've been looking for it for a while. This next DVD is a comic book film, and I was very happy to find this. I've been hunting this movie for the longest time on DVD, um, this and The Rocketeer and The Phantom. And, um, you know, now that I've said that, you definitely know what I'm talking about, you know, if you're into comic book films. I got The Shadow with Alec Baldwin. And this is really is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know, I, I grew up with this movie. I think it's an extremely underrated comic book film, you know. The movie does not get the credit that it, it rightfully deserves. You know, I just it just came out the wrong time, you know, because it came out in the mid nineties. And the mid nineties, you know, were a is a real like um I'm trying to figure think of a word that'll be good enough. It was a real like proving ground kind of period because the mid nineties you had all these young directors and stuff like that trying to make their mark, you know, like Robert Rodriguez and John Singleton with, you know, Boys in the Hood. You know, so the 90s were really a, a growth period and, you know, like a searching period for, you know, what kind of film would fit that era. And so comic book films were dead at that time, you know. I mean, basically the only comic book film that people were interested in seeing it at that time was Batman. You know, every other couple of years there would be a Batman film. So, like, most of the comic book movies that came out in that time frame weren't successful, but now they're called classics to this day, like, you know, this, and like I said, The Phantom and The Rocketeer, and, you know, other movies that came out in that era, you know, and then when X-Men and Blade, well, Blade, when Blade came out, 
you know, that led to X-Men, and then X-Men came out, and now we have all these comic book films, so... But, you know, like I said, it's a really underrated film. I'm definitely going to review it soon. You know, I'd like to do that in The Phantom. So, um, that's The Shadow. I got it for, like, six ninety nine, and I was really excited and really happy when I found it. So, that was awesome. Uh, this next DVD is a Clint Eastwood movie, and I think it's one of his best movies. And I found it for, you know, five bucks. It's FYE, brand new. And it's the two-disc special edition of Unforgiven, which also has Morgan Freeman and Gene Hackman and Richard Harris. And it's a great Western. If you like Clint Eastwood, if you like Western movies, if you haven't seen it already, definitely check it out. You will not be disappointed because it's a fantastic film. I think it's uh, Eastwood's best Western, you know, and, you know, I really do. You know, it's a great movie. You know, it's, it's kind of like an anti-Western, but, you know, that's why it works because it goes against, you know, tradition and stuff like that, you know, and it's Clint Eastwood, so you know it's going to be good. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm really glad that I found that, you know, four or five bucks, you know, brand new. I was like, that's awesome because I've been hunting it for a while. So that was pretty cool. And these last two DVDs, you know, like, as I've said, and I'm wearing a t-shirt, you know, I'm wearing, you know, the Green Ranger shirt. Sorry, I was bouncing around. Next two DVD are Power Ranger DVDs. I got both of these at FYE. And these were a little pricey. They were both nine bucks each, but that's because they're out of print. So they are hard to find. So that's not a big deal. And this first one is Power Rangers Dino Thunder, Volume 1, Day of the Dino. And it has the first couple of episodes. And I do enjoy this season because uh, Jason David Frank, who plays Tommy, came back. So I remember com this coming on, and I was really excited. I was like, yeah, Tommy's coming back. You know, I grew up watching him and stuff like that. So that was awesome that they brought him back. And this was actually the last season that I liked. Um, this was one of the early Disney seasons. It's actually like the second that's completely under Disney, but it's not bad, you know, it doesn't really have that Disney vibe to it. Yeah, the show is toned down a little bit, but you know, it's it's definitely worth checking out. If you haven't seen, if you're a Power Rangers fan and you haven't seen the season, check it out. You probably will enjoy it, um, you know, especially if you like the early stuff, you know, Mighty Morphin and Zeo because, you know, uh, Jason David Frank comes back. So, But then this was the last season that I watched because this was in 04. And I was 12, so that's when I started, you know, getting into other things. You know, I was kind of moving out of my childhood stuff. But now I'm back into it, you know, because I remember how awesome, you know, it was and stuff like that. So this was the last season that I liked. Everything after that I don't care about. Not even the new season, you know, which is, I was really disappointed with the new season. And I checked out the first episode and I was like, eh, no, not worth my time. But anyway, that's all right. So that's that DVD. And this last DVD, once again, it's a Power Rangers DVD. And I paid like nine bucks for it. And I was so happy to find this because I've been hunting it since the day it came out. And, you know, it's, I watched a little bit of it. You know, I love it so far. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. And I've seen all the episodes on here. But um, the best of the Power Rangers, the Ultimate Rangers. And it has the White Light episodes where Jason David Frank as Tommy comes back as the White Ranger, which is my second favorite episode of all time. And like I said before, I will do my top ten favorite Power Ranger episodes on down the road, like right before I review the seasons, I want to go back and watch, I need to watch Lost Galaxy and Wild Force and Dino Thunder, you know, watch through those again, because I don't really remember, well, Dino Thunder, not so much, I do remember a good bit of that, but Lost Galaxy and Wild Force, I want to go back and watch, because those were like, you know, the seasons where the show, you know, was going in different directions and stuff like that, so I want to go back and check those out again, so, okay, Sorry about that. but um, And then it also has Countdown to Destruction from Power Rangers in Space, which was supposed to be the last episode. And I'll talk about all that when I review Power Rangers in Space and that episode in particular. And then it has To the Tenth Power from Lost Galaxy, which is the In Space and Lost Galaxy team up, which was a good episode. But it's only the first part because that was like a two-parter. I wish the second part was on here because that's just as good as that one. You know, but whatever, it's Disney. And then Trakina's Revenge from Lightspeed Rescue when the Galaxy Rangers and the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers team up. A really good team up. And then it has Wild For the Wild Force episode Forever Red, which where all the Red Rangers team up, which was a great episode. It's definitely in my top ten. So I will talk about all that when I review the seasons and then my top ten favorite episodes. But that's it for this vlog slash DVD update. So like I said, you know, um, tomorrow I'm working all day, so I won't put anything up. And Sunday's Easter, so I won't put anything up then. But next week I'm going to start with my Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and then go from there. So 
Um, hope all you guys for you for for you. Oh man, I can't talk. For those of you that do celebrate Easter, Happy Easter. For those of you that are Jewish, you know, Happy Passover. So um, thanks for watching and take care, and I'll see you guys next week. See you.